What's up guys? It's Sean, aka Hyrule1969. Wanted to explain to you guys exactly what happened to me yesterday and how I went with it and I turned a kind of a crappy situation into the best situation. And I ended up doing a 40 hour fast. So what had happened was my mother's car broke down. I was already out and about. So earlier that day, I was already like, I was already in my fasted mode. And I went to the gym. I did a fasted workout. I did cardio. I did a, a great weight lift. Uh, it was just awesome. It seems like every time I, I switch my workouts up, but every time I go to the gym, it seems like I'm breaking my PR every single time my personal records every time I go there by adding like two pounds here two pounds there and the next thing you know you're adding five pounds and ten pounds freaking awesome so anyways uh, so prior to that I didn't eat except for the night before I stopped eating at like eight o'clock or whatever so then uh, I started to go shopping got done with that started driving home feeling pretty good uh, I had a plan of coming home and eating because by then it was already like, I don't know, 2 o'clock or 2.30 or whatever. So, uh, I ended up getting a phone call from my mother saying that her cars broke down. So I decided, okay, I'll come back and I'll help you. I switched vehicles, went back out, uh, got where she is, and I ended up fixing the car in a parking lot behind uh, Olive Garden. But, this is where the bad situation turned worse was... I didn't expect to be there for about eight and a half hours trying to fix this car. And I had other plans, but you know, it's my mom, so whatever. So I'm running back and forth, which was about a quarter mile, maybe a little bit further from where I was to the parts store. I'm like running back and forth for parts here and there, and I'm, even tools, and I'm like, oh crap, I'm like, I forget one, I gotta run back, and I gotta head back, and I'm like literally running. For anybody who follows me on Snapchat, you guys seen it on Snapchat. It was actually kind of freaking funny, uh, especially when you guys see me pushing the car down the road with my car. That was actually kind of funny. But anyways, so later on, I get back home later on at night. It's about 11 or so. I, I'm like exhausted, but I wasn't pooped. Like I wasn't drained. I think it was about after like hour 18, my body just was okay with it. And I felt great and I had like a ton of energy and I felt light and I could do this and I could do that and that's exactly what I did was I just kept going and going all throughout my night. So finally, uh, I fell asleep. By the way, when you're fasting something like that, your sleep kind of sucks because you don't have the fats and the carbs to kind of slow you down to sleep a little bit, but it's all right. You'll figure it out. So, uh, in other words, I took that situation and I'm like, I'm just going to go with it because I always wanted to try this and I wanted to see how effective it is. Long story short was I lost seven pounds. Wow, look at this. All I did was drink water throughout the whole entire day and I did have coffee. Um, I had one iced coffee black nothing else I took in no calories throughout the whole entire day um, except for maybe like six calories when I had like two little mints and that was it um, today I had my my first meal it was 40 hours like exact fast and I gotta say like it was awesome it was awesome like I felt really good. But then like, you see like, you go like 40 hours, all right? And you're not hungry. Like you don't have the urge to eat. At least with me, I didn't. And I think it's because I do intermittent fasting to begin with, which is you eat for eight hours and then you stop and you fast for 16 hours. So afterwards, I had my first meal. I had my meal today. 
all right so I uh, I have my normal breakfast but I ate my carbohydrates first that way that goes like right to the muscle and I'll tell you what happened was like I didn't like blow up or anything but I just felt so rejuvenated and so refreshed and then my veins were popping back through my arms again and I was like oh yeah it's back you know I started getting like feeling my gains back and everything but mentally I didn't feel like I needed to eat even physically I didn't feel that I needed to eat but what I felt was like a little bit of shakiness like around my legs and stuff so I was like yeah maybe it's time to eat um, I didn't want to do a 48 hour fast because this was my first time I ever done it so I didn't want to push the envelope that bad so uh, afterwards, I ended up going to the bathroom, of course, after breakfast, and it was great. It was, guys, you know what I'm talking about. It was like one of those ones where you felt like you had to take a picture of it afterwards. Oh my God, it was great. So I weigh myself again and I'm down seven pounds after breakfast I was still down seven pounds so that was really nice uh, that was really nice to see because I actually put weight back on but I could tell you exactly why I put weight back on was because I, I went through like this little uh, like bulking phase type thing I got my weight down to 195 by the way which is badass and then I was like, you know what, I just want to be like slightly under two and just stay like right there. So I went through like a little bit of like a bulking phase for like the past like couple weeks um, where I ate a little bit more, I ate more carbs and I, that was okay, that wasn't bad, but where I messed up was I started eating like Hershey bars and I'm talking like the full like XL Hershey bars. And then I added, I was out of honey, I was out of maple syrup, I was out of all this goodness to put in my oatmeal like I do every morning. So I started to put in white sugar, like regular sugar that you would put in coffee. Son of a bitch that I put on weight. I went from 195 to 207. <laughs> Within like, I don't know, a week and a half or so, maybe two weeks. But, um... My diet was all the same. That was the only thing that I added was every once in a while, I would do a Hershey bar before a workout. It was a pre-workout type thing. And then I, I had white sugar. Now, I took the sugar out of the equation. I did this 40-hour fast. I, I'm right at, I'm like exactly right at 200 pounds right now today. I feel really good about that. That's great. Um, and I'm going to get back down to 195 again. And then I'm going to do uh some creatine and see how i can puff up from that it's just fun like you know what i mean like it's just fun like like you don't have to be lean all the time like you don't have to you know be this weight you know every single day of your life that's what I, i've learned and it's okay like some days you're gonna puff up some days you're gonna look beefy as shit other days you're gonna look lean and other days you're just gonna feel Bleh. but it's okay because you know how to go back to it you know how to fix your shit so uh but anyways yeah like when when you do this fast and uh what happens is your brain releases a chemical uh it's a growth hormone called hgh your hgh levels go up like 400 four, yeah it's like 400 percent higher than it ever was before and you just turn into like a serious fat burning machine now just because i lost seven pounds i don't think that's seven pounds of body fat because i would that's a shit ton of weight to lose body fat wise in a day uh even though i was pounding the water all day a lot of water maybe that's why it, that's exactly why i didn't feel hungry was because i i kept the water flowing me uh lemon water um i kept that going to me so i didn't feel the desire i felt full i felt fine so that's just something uh that i wanted to share with you guys was my fasting experience uh my metabolism it's definitely, I feel like my metabolism has gone up because, like, I was doing some work in the shop and I was sweating, like, profusively. And I'm like, oh, man, this is freaking awesome. Because I knew that my body was working harder. Uh, your HGH goes up, your hormones go up, all this stuff goes up. And, like, you know why this happens is, think about, like, the primitive days. Like, think about, 
how God designed us. I guess like we've evolved. But think about how God designed the human body is to eat like once, maybe twice a day. During the cavemen days, think primitive. During the cavemen days, it wasn't like you woke up and you just like had like buffalo meat like right in front of you or elephant meat or pig or whatever. You know, it wasn't like that. It was like, okay, I'm awake. Uh, my family's here. I got kids over there. My wife's there. Um, unga bunga, we're fucking hungry. All right. So that cave dude had to go out and find that food. And sometimes he'd come back like later on at night and nobody would eat until later on at night. And then they would eat and then they would digest a little bit. They'd feel a little bit better and then they'd eat again. And then I'd they digest, they go to sleep, they feel a little bit better, and next morning they do it again. They were on like the 8 and 16 fast. It's like the same situation for them. They ate like two two meals a day. Um, but I just wanted to like share that with you guys. So that is my experience with a 40 hour fast is that I felt energetic throughout the whole entire thing. Right around the 18 hour mark, um, like I said, I didn't feel hungry. I didn't have a desire to eat. I just said, okay, it's cool, whatever. Uh, my body did not go into starvation mode. I did not lose my muscle. I, all that nonsense that, you know, all these people think that happens, it, it doesn't happen. It's bullshit. I feel good. I feel energetic as hell. I feel very, very focused. And as a matter of fact, it was like I must have had some uh, infl uh, inflammation in my upper back previously to this because I had like a lot of back pains the day before yesterday and I would say like last night they were all gone and I was standing up working on a car bent over a hood for hours yesterday so uh, yeah it, it definitely knocks down your inflammation as well it lets your body regrow it lets your 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 body do what it's designed to do. It heals itself because it's not focusing on digestion. Your blood is not sitting in your gut. Your blood is now like, okay, we're gonna regrow things. We're going to repair cells. We're gonna repair structure. We're gonna repair bone. We're gonna make fresh white blood cells. This is what your body is designed to do. If you keep your gut focused all day or full all day long, then the focus of your body is on digestion. You're not gonna have any time to fight off diseases, to fight off cancer, to fight off any type of illnesses, any type of uh, uh, inflammation. You know, your body's not gonna heal itself because it's focused on digestion all day long. So think about that, guys. Just think about it. Even if you're not trying to do it for weight loss, just you can do it for health. You know, um, it's, it's just awesome. Like, I feel... I feel so alive. My ener my energy level it was like, I would say like eight and a half, nine, and then it like skyrocketed to like a ten, and then I ate, and I was like, all right, you know, I'm not really feeling a difference, you know, uh, after I ate, you know, and I looked down, I was like, wow, my veins are popping out of my arm, you know, things are flowing again, like I, you know, I felt really, really good. Now my energy level is like a twelve to fourteen, maybe maybe even a 15 and that's out of 10 so my energy level is goddamn up there right now and i'm feeling motivated as shit that's why i decided to do this video because i wanted to share the thoughts with you guys while i still had a fresh intake on the situation so anyways guys keep pounding uh, lemon water uh stay at it um whatever makes you happy and you know what that's also another thing guys seriously stay happy stay happy like find your center just know that you're okay Know that you're the shit. And just know that like, no matter like what happens, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There's always a bright side to everything. So you guys gotta keep that in mind too. It's, just, it's mental focus, mental clarity. Take that stress bullshit out, just get rid of it. If there's something in your life that's going on right now, guys, that you have no control over, some shit that you cannot change, something that's out there that you've tried your hardest on, why worry about it? It means that there's nothing you can do about it. Fuck it. Push it off to the side. You're fine. Like, you don't need... You don't need that drama in your life. You know, you don't need that stress. And, you know, when you're stressed out, that's, that's the number one killer in America is stress. That's what causes depression, heart disease, anxiety. You know, that's why we're, we're the most heavily medicated country in the world. 
piss on stress, guys. Don't even, like, don't even, like, put, like, feed into it, you know? Like I said, if you've done everything that you could possibly do throughout your day, and you gave it your all, like, you gave it 110%, and shit still didn't change, find something else that works for you, or let it go. Just let it go. All right, so anyways, I am going back to work. Uh, I am working on a oil pan today and a Chevy Tracker. And if anybody's ever done that before, wow, you son of a bitch has got a lot of patience. That's all I can say. It's a horrible job. But anyways, guys, I am out. I am going back to do my shit. So anyways, I am Sean, aka Hyro 1969 Make sure to like, share, subscribe this video, comment, let us know how it's working for you. Uh, keep in touch with us. Uh, share your experiences if you've had any. And uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys. Peace. I love you.